Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be a review on the new Natasha Denona liquid lipsticks and they came out with a bunch of different shades but I got five of them to show you today. So the first one is the lightest one that they have and this one is the color Melba which is a nude shade and it's more of a peach nude. It's not pink and it's not brown. The next one is number two which is the color Melted and this one is a brown nude. Third one is the dark brown nude and and it's still not like super brown or super dark or anything it's just a brown and this one is called Shaco Kiss then it's the color Dahlia this is the number 24 and it's the one that I'm wearing in today's video and then lastly it's Scarlet and this one is the number 21 so the reason why you're seeing a bunch of nude shades which is kind of weird because I know I usually get oranges and reds and different colors but I was looking for shades that I could wear with blue eyeshadow with green eyeshadow just with different colors and I don't always want to match my lipstick to my eyes I mean sometimes I really feel that way and I do it I'm like what nude should I get you know cuz I don't feel like I have the perfect nude that I actually like so picking a few nudes here I was like okay hopefully one of those I really like so this one right here I have to say is my least favorite this one is a peach nude and I feel like it's too much like my skin tone so it makes it look like all one and it doesn't give me any dimension on my lips I just feel like it looks kind of weird so it's a nice shade it's just probably not for my skin tone this next one is a perfect shade for me and I think this one's a lot better it's not too light and it's not too dark it's just a good shade and I feel like this one's gonna be good with purple eyeshadows with blue with green just with I think anything even neutral tone on my eyes so I think this one I'm gonna be able to wear it a lot and this one is number two this one's the color melted and then this is a little clip of the way that I've been using the number one which is my least favorite that I told you earlier but the way that I've been wearing it and that has been complimenting my lips is by applying it in the center of my lips and giving me like kind of like a highlighted effect and I think it goes perfectly for that so even though I might not be wearing it all over my lips I'm still gonna get use out of it this is the combination that I was wearing in my Jaclyn Hill brush video and it's the number two mixed with the number one in the center so the third one is Shaco Kiss and this one is a dark brown nude. It's still nude, it's not too dark but it's also not a light one. I know it's kind of weird talking about all these nude shades because they all have a different tone to them. And this one did look really nice on me, I like the tone of it, I don't feel like it's too cool tone and it's definitely not a warm tone so I really like the dark brown and I feel like it's gonna go good with the fall looks that I will be creating. So I think I found a really good brown fall shade for me. Next one is Dahlia which is the one that I'm wearing right now. Now, this is the number 24 and today I'm also wearing it with a little bit on the center of my lips of the color melted so this is the combination that I'm wearing today so the fifth one is scarlet and I feel like this one is probably my least favorite I really love the shade the way that it looked online but whenever I apply it I feel like if I miss some spots it kind of looks a little pink on those areas I don't know if the formula is different in these I mean I wouldn't think ah, I wouldn't think so because they're all the same but you know how sometimes to make different colors it's a little different I just feel like this one is like the least even I do have to dip it back in there because with the rest of them just by taking the brush out just one it's all it took was one application to be even and then this one is the one that I do have to go back in and then apply a little bit more the, another thing to mention because I think it's very important is that these go into your wrinkles on your lips so if your lips are not smooth this is gonna get in there and my lips are not smooth so it goes into all the wrinkles now what it doesn't do is crack open whenever you smile so I'm happy about that I, I don't really feel like I mind that it goes into my little wrinkles as long as it doesn't look like it's missing product in between those lines so I feel like what happens is that whenever you apply it it gets everywhere it like hugs every little wrinkle and then whenever you smile it's still even but when you put your lips back you can see all your little wrinkles but not in a dry cracky form I know it sounds gross but it's the truth I've tried liquid lipsticks like that before so yeah I do like them but I do have to let you know that you can see all your wrinkles so this does not smooth out your lips or anything I feel like it kind of looks like a regular lipstick not so much like a liquid lipstick because I've tried liquid lipsticks that really you can tell that they're liquid lipsticks and super matte I don't know for some reason these just look kind of like a regular lipstick but they will last you all 
day. Yesterday, I wore the combination for the Jaclyn Hill video. I had the lipstick on from the moment that I started filming, well, applying my makeup for that video, until the end of the night, which was like 12 after I was done editing, like throughout my entire day. I ate, I drank water, I did just everything normal, and I removed it at night. Now, it wasn't perfect, but it lasted me all day, so I didn't have to reapply. I never really reapply lipstick anyways, but it didn't look uneven to where it was spotty or anything. The only areas that were a little bit missing was right in between my lips. I don't think, I think if you try it, you really have to try it in order to understand the formula that I'm talking about because I don't know if people like liquid lipsticks to not look like liquid lipsticks because you expect well matte liquid lipsticks because you expect it to look really smooth and soft and to me they just don't look like that they look like a regular lipstick but you know deep down <laughs> that it is a long lasting liquid lipstick and these are very very comfortable like as I'm talking to you I don't feel like my lips are like stuck together or like it's really hard on my lips or where to where it feels dry it doesn't feel like that they're very comfortable which is why I say I feel like it's more of a regular lipstick in liquid form but long lasting liquid form hopefully that makes sense um so yeah so if you try them remember that you are going to be able to see all the little wrinkles and i keep saying that because i think a lot of people love the smooth matte look and these are not going to give you that i feel like it kind of adapts to your lip to your lip texture and it's very comfortable to wear so that's why I do like them but just keep in mind that if you have wrinkly lips then it's gonna show through trust me so yeah guys that is pretty much it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful and thank you so much for watching I will see you on my next one bye